Hello YouTube and welcome to another Python tutorial. So in this video I will show you how you can encode data in Python using the Hashlib library. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you have seen on my previous video, I showed you how to encode and decode data using simple crypt model or library. Okay. But in this video, I'll show you how to use Hashlib. So Hashlib actually is a Python open source library that is used for encoding data. And it contains most of the popular hashing algorithm. Like for example, MD5, SHA-1, SHA-224 or SHA-256. So it depends on your needs. But unlike the simple crypt library or the crypt library actually, Hashlib decoding is a very difficult and time consuming job. So it's very difficult for hackers or brute forcers to crack your hashing data. Okay? That's why Hashlib is considered to be more secure and safe when using hashing. Okay? So here I'll show you just some simple example how you can use this Hashlib library. So first of all, let me just type Python here in order to get to the shell. Here we go. So first thing first, we have to import our library. So let's import the Hashlib. So you don't need to install it using, for example, pip install Hashlib because it's there by default in Python 2 or Python 3. And let's uh, make a message, for example, simple message that you want to encode. So here I'll use just simple, most standard hello world string. Okay. So before using actually the Hashlib, we have to convert the string into bytes because all the function that we'll be using here actually accepts uh, bytes not strings as arguments so in order to actually encode our string here to bytes we use a simple function called encode so let's encode our message so i will put it in another variable for example I can call it message in code and I will provide just here our string with function in code in order to convert it into bytes here we go now we are finished we are done with our message now we can use actually all the function that comes with the hashlib library in order to encode or hash our message so first of all let's hash it using the md5 algorithm so i will put that in a variable i will call it dash hash md5 and simply i will call our hash lib model dot md5 and i will pass as an argument our encoded message or actually our string that was converted into bytes so message in code it's simple as that let's do the same but this time i want a hash value but this time using the for example sha1 algorithm so also it's pretty simple i'll use the hash lib but this time dot sha1 function and always provide the same bytes message okay finally i can encode it for example using sha 256 just to see the differences between all these algorithms okay and of course you guess it I will use the function called SHA-256 okay and same message 
et voilà, we are done. So we have our three algorithms. So in order to display the hashing of this simple string hello words, we have to use another function in order to convert the hash value into a hex string. Okay. So in order to convert the hash values into a hex string, we use a function called hex digest. Okay. So I'll print our first md5 hash hash underscore md5. But as I told you, we must use the hex digest function in order just to get the hex values, but this time into string. Here we go. So this is the hash value of the string hello world and md5 algorithm. Okay. Let's say this time SHA1 output. So I will use the same function here, hex digest, but this time I will apply it to the hash SHA1 in order to get the output. Okay, so here you can see the differences between the two hashing. So the last one is a little bit bigger than the first one. So if you want your algorithm to have a very strong hashing or be more secure or safe, of course you have to use a better algorithm. But keep in mind that it also will be time consuming. Okay. And finally, let's see the output for the hash, but this time not for the hash one, but the hash 256. And of course, it will be much more longer. So all this hashing value will make uh, life difficult for any hackers or any crackers that want to actually brute force your uh, data or your password, for example. If they have, even if they have a dictionary and they want to compare these hashing values with the hashing in, uh, let me say, in a uh, file list, it will be more difficult for them to get the same values if you use actually SHA, SHA algorithm like SHA 256. Of course, you can also use SHA 500, for example, uh, 512. Okay, it starts easy. You can see how easy to use this algorithm here. Let's display the values to see, and of course, it will be much more longer th than the last one. So you can see it's much more longer. So just keep in mind that always used the best hashing algorithm that you can use it depends all, of course all on your needs okay so that was just a brief introduction how to use the hashlib library that comes actually by default in any python installation so as always i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye